So we have another quadrilateral here. Uh, it has opposite slopes the same, which makes it a parallelogram. But it looks even more special than that. Um, it has 90 degree corners. Um, and we know that in a parallelogram, the opposite angles are the same. So J and I are also 90. Um, so that makes it a rectangle. But if we look at the sides over here, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, opposite sides are the same. So that makes it a rhombus. So do you call, what do you call a rectangle or rhombus or rhombus tangle or rectangle rhombus or uh, whatever you want to call it? It's a rectangle and a rhombus at the same time. No matter what I do to it, um, that makes it a square. It's got its own special, woo. it's got its own special name. We call that a square. Um, so all the properties of a rectangle apply, because again, a rectangle was a parallelogram. They had 90 degree corners. All right, so if we can make 90 degree corners, we make a rectangle. And then if you make all the sides the same, make it a square. Okay. Um, a rhombus was all the sides were the same. Oh, the diagonals. It's got some other some properties of diagonals too, right? So if I can make things like that happen. So diagonals are three eight one three one. Diagonals congruent. Remember that's a rectangle property. So if I make the diagonals congruent, we got the rectangleish to it. But again, the rectang the the diagonals also do what in a rhombus? Um, they're ninety. So a bunch of 90s. Okay. Um, a square doesn't have... It has rectangle properties and rhombus. So if you come down below a rectangle, it's got all the properties of a rectangle, plus it's got all the rhombus properties. Or if you're looking at it at like a rhombus, it comes you know down in the, fa in the family tree, but then you add all the properties of a rectangle. Um, so in a way, it has nothing new. It's just a combination of two. It's rectangle properties and rhombus properties. So again, um, nothing new to write down under the square other than it's got all the properties of a rectangle and all the properties of a rhombus. But that makes it nice, nice to make because, you know, we got 90 here, 90 here, 90 here. So if you make 90 degree angles, which is done by making two circles in, overlap each other, um, you, you got 90s. Uh, diagonals are the same. Diagonals are congruent is another way to say that because it's a rectangle. They happen to be 90 because it's a rhombus. Um, they bisect each other because it's a parallelogram. Um, they bisect the angles because it's a rhombus. Um, what else is there? Yeah, those, those are the big things. That's a square. Rectangle and a rhombus at the same time. Um, sides are congruent. That was the rhombus property. Corners are 90. That's the rectangle property. All right. Yeah, there's nothing really new to write down for it, except it's a rectangle and a rhombus at the same time.